I just bought this 25 year old Pokemon binder. So I'm currently driving about uh, an hour away from my hometown to meet up with the gentleman. Uh, he is trying to sell his old Pokemon cards and, uh, and I wanted to take a look at it and he said he was willing to show and maybe we could come up with a deal. And uh, driving right now. So I'm meeting up with a gentleman. I'm trying to make a deal. Hopefully uh, he wanted to sell his Pokemon set, which is his Japanese uh, versions. I'm gonna take a look and maybe we can uh, come up with a deal and show you guys what I get, hopefully. And uh, super excited, stay tuned. Welcome back to TaiTube guys. It's a little different video than usual. So as you saw from the title, I purchased this binder full of base set 1996 Japanese Pokemon card from a gentleman who was selling his his set. Uh, it's not completed, but it's as best as he can. Uh, he was getting rid of it. Um, he was moving out of his house. He, but I did see something that I was very interested in purchasing because we had, you know who, the man, the myth, the legend, the big orange Charizard, which is the goal for every kid, you know, to get. And uh, I saw that and I said, I sent him a message, say, hey, I would like to meet up. Maybe we can look at the cards and then maybe we can come up with a deal. <clears throat> so uh, we set up a time to meet up and long and behold, uh, I met him and geez, I was super excited about the card that I saw. I uh, pulled it out. The, the gentleman was super nice, super friendly. Um, he's just grown up now. He has kids and he doesn't have any more interest in Pokemon and he just wants to get rid of it. Uh, so lucky for me, I told him, hey man, we got to come up with a deal because that Charizard, I'm a fanatic and he's he's got to go home somewhere safe and uh, he needs to be taken care of. And uh, the gentleman was super cool, uh, super nice. And he's like, yeah, man, I'm just trying to get rid of it. Um, I'm trying to sell everything as a whole. Uh, so I was like, okay. Let's, so I took a look, <clears throat> he wanted 200 for the Charizard. And let me show you what Charizard I'm talking about. It's super, super minty. Let's head into the office and take a look at the binder as well as the minty fresh Charizard that we just purchased. Oh my God, I'm super excited. I'm super excited, it's just my mind is blown that we came up with the deal and it was just insane. All right, without further ado, Let's head to the office. We are back in the office and I'm super excited to share with you what we had purchased, how much it cost, and the Holy Grail card that we had purchased. Oh my gosh. Let's start off with the binder. So the set is from 1996. It's a Japanese um, base set. He doesn't have everything uh, completed. <clears throat> it does come with a lot. I'm going to move this off to the side for a moment. It does come with a lot. Not sure uh, if you guys think we had made a good deal or a bad deal, but I think it's pretty neat to kind of have most of the set. It's not completed at all. Um, he did have three holographics, the Pharaoh, um, Misty Cedra. Other than that, those are the three hollows that were in there. Uh, we have a Squirtle there, base set Squirtle which is a nice, neat card. Jigglypuff Beedrill. Man, just brings back so much, so much nostalgia. Um, Meowth, right there. Wow. Super duper excited, guys. Just going to keep on flipping through. These cards are pretty mint, near mint. He said he pulled these cards himself and just put it in the binder when he was a kid. <clears throat> but um, super... Super cool, man. So, I'm going to keep that there. But he said that he was throwing in these for free as well. Mewtwo Black Star promo. Movie promos. Number 14. Very nice cards. Very nice cards. These in itself are, are pretty uh, nice and rare. Um, but, but, the super duper exciting card that I was... That I saw is right here, guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about it. So it is from 1996. It's super duper clean, man. Super duper clean. Um, intact. 
amazing. The edges are great. The surface is crazy. No swirls, but incredible, man. This card alone, the original, has this, the, the no rare symbol. My God, if you have a card, the Charizard 1996 Charizard with no symbol, rare symbol, that card is super duper expensive. Um, but this one... It's it's so clean that I think I do have to go give it graded, man. I think I have to get it graded um, either by Beckett or PSA. Uh, it does have a chance, I think, to get like a, a 9 or a 10. Um, definitely 9 or a 10 worthy of a card. And it should be graded just because it's super clean, man. And it's it's a part of history. All right. For the price of everything... For the price of everything, ready to hear me out, $300. $300. Insane. I was super ecstatic. I said, all right, we'll shake on it. And the deal was done. And um, I'm super excited to add this into my collection. Super excited to share with you guys. What do you guys think? Should we get it graded with PSA or should we get it graded with Beckett? Uh, comment below, man. Comment below. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in this short video. Um, I appreciate you guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We make videos all the time. This is a little different. I never really, you know, this is out of my comfort zone trying to meet somebody um, that I don't know and look through their Pokemon collection, which is cool, though. The guy was so nice. We had a nice chat. That's something that I don't typically do, and it was, it was kind of cool to kind of share the passion. Uh, but guys, 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 super excited. That's all we have for the video, guys. I hope you guys stay safe, be well, and until the next video, bye.